Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Virtual Verse. Last time we left off, we got a bunch of stuff. We got the code to our balcony, and that was useful. And we have a, a lot of junk in our inventory. A jumper, a heap of coins, the ultra gloves of power. We got all kinds of things. So let's go ahead and start checking out the back street and the alley over here, and also the sturdy metal door. We've already checked out the panel with all of those things. Railway wall. A huge steel wall blocking access to the subway rails. People used to live near the rails and steal, to steal electricity before the rail company built this. Huh. That's interesting. Dumpster. Uh, look at. And then we'll look inside of it to see if we have any useful adventure game items hiding inside. I can hear bumps and thuds coming from inside. I hope it's just a couple of cats fighting for food. Well, let's see. I'm not opening it. I'm afraid the animals fighting inside will bite me. Um, hmm. Use the broom to open it. I don't want to sweep it. Damn it. Um, the Ultra Gloves of Power. If we have those, we can do it. I can't control that with the Ultra Gloves of Power. <laughs> okay, never mind. Alright, that's just still the railway wall. This looks like a little... Food, stand, uh, food place? Sensei Sushi. Fresh food. Menu, spider roll, 5C, squid, 3C, green soybeans, 1C, sukiyaki don, 5C, oh, I skipped one, special fried rice, 4C, scallop, 3C, sea bream, 4C, hikura, 2C, pickle roll, that's a lot, frozen food, <laughs> yeah, the best fresh Japanese food in town, and then it says frozen food over here on this one, what a reap off. Hey, nice ambiance in here, though. E-cig dispenser. There are many flavors. Menthol, peach pit, mountain mushroom, tasty hoax, or hacks, espresso, glycerin, fresh apple, and then the whole hollow sky ice, vanilla, mango drango, el caballero, strawberry delight. Jeez, he just kept going. I wasn't advancing any of that. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I quit smoking months ago for the 36th time. I see. Look at Aquarium. I love it. Me too. Unfortunately, there's no clownfish. Oh well, it would be a shame to see him filleted alive by the chef. Hey, chubby guy. He's devouring the food at lightning speed. Is the soup good? Yes. Better hurry before it gets... cold. You should also try the nigiri. Robin. Uramaki. Ad Adame. I don't miss the chance. Or I won't miss the chance. What do you like to order? I'm eating everything. You don't look like a waiter, though. Are you really eating all you can? Just about anything. Except that insipid maki. It's so bland, it, it'll never taste good to me. May I sit here? Oh, you surprised me. Sure. See ya. Need to go. I ask if I can sit there, and then I'm like, alright, later. <laughs> Well, I guess I can use that, uh, stool now if I want to. Look at the TV. It's displaying a still image of a fish. If that is intentional, it's definitely a bad marketing idea. Yeah, look at the fish. That's what you're eating, poor buddy. Look at Silent Chap. He's wearing a hoodie with a high symbol. Maybe he's just some random nerd. <laughs> a random nerd. <laughs> what a thing to say. Nice hoodie. I truly appreciate your kind words against my choice of clothing. I won this hoodie in a contest. What contest? The Fastest Pie Hand Calculation 2037 Edition. What? Whoop. Jeez, if you hold the mouse down just a second too long, it skips dialogue. I gotta really be careful with this. You should be good at math then. Oh, jeez. Or maybe you just memorized the longest sequence of numbers you could. Maybe I should just let it auto-progress. Maybe that's what's happening. It's auto-progressing? I just followed the techniques used by Sir Isaac Newton. Hmm. Without, bodily, without body modifications, he couldn't go beyond 16 digits, though. Interesting. I succeeded in, cal I succeeded in calculating 107,374 of 182,400. Do you have some kind of implants, then? No, I use some other kind of aids. Drugs? 
boosters. Tell me more. No. Hmm. Yeah, this is an interesting predicament to be in, because sometimes the auto advance is really fast, and I like that. But sometimes it's dreadfully slow, and I don't know when is proper to click the button. Are you a regular here? To be honest, this is the first time I've eaten in this place. I write a blog about street food. It's called Spicy Hater. I guess that means you ain't a fan of spicy stuff? It would be reductive to say, I just don't like it. I literally hate everything, even barely spicy. My blog is all about that. Well, it's the complete opposite of me. Discovering spice-free places and reviewing them. I heard this was one of them, so that's why I'm here. Interesting. Wish you a good dinner. So how's the dinner? Pretty decent. I'm on a strict diet. You know, the development of food trade between countries raises the question of global food safety. I'm very concerned about it. That's why I avoid, avoid imported toppings and spices. No regrets. That sounds awful. Bye for now. You just can't have, like, any spices that are imported? That's where all the good spices come from. Alright, I guess we're talking to the chef now. Did he actually just spit in the plates? Did he? Oh my... What the hell? Why is the chef spitting in plates? What's new on the menu? Anything special? As usual. Hey, did you just spit onto the plate? As usual. Oh, oh my god. Can I put some shit into your nigiri? As usual. Okay. Is, is the joke supposed to be he can only say as usual? That's like the only bit of English he knows or something? I don't, I don't know. Are you kidding me? This isn't funny. As usual. Look, there's some sushi in the bowl over there. As usual. I think he's just fucking with me. Is there anything you know how to say besides as usual? Man, it sounds a bit rude, but let's see. Sometimes, as usual. Yeah, okay, he's just fucking with me. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Good, good, good. Glad I came in here. This was a massive, massive waste of time. Oh, wait, I forgot to sit down on the stool. We should do that. What if something happens? What if something super, super important happens? Like, I sit down on the stool and the love of my life walks in. Or, wait, I already have a girlfriend. Whoops. Look at plate. There's a plate of Maki. Seems like a decent nigiri. Uh, what am I supposed to... Can I, can I grab the stuff with my broom? Or should I poke it with my screwdriver? That didn't have like a little glass thing on top of it, so I imagine I can probably swipe that. Yeah, the maki. Cause these all have like a glass dome over top of them. But this doesn't, so I think I can just swipe one of these. It has no screws to screw, damn it. Use the broom. I don't want to sweep it. Uh, uh, the Ultra Glove of Power. Okay, well. I don't have anything else in here that would help this, right? Noodles? Oh, I could use the chopsticks. It will not work. What? It, it's, it shows chopsticks right there. Damn. Okay, well. I'm fairly sure we need to do something with that, so I will keep that in mind. I should possibly start a page of notes for this game. It would probably help, as I kind of move things around. So, let's see here. So we have... Maki... In... Restaurant. There we go. Just want to make sure I remember that in between sessions. So, Main Street. Now we gotta go to the back street, I believe it said. And find all the boys there. All right, so you're not intimidating at all. Hello. I mean, I guess it's good that you're intimidating if you're a bouncer. Look at advertisement. Just some new hardware doing exactly the same thing as the older hardware at twice the price. They keep changing the slots to force you into new proprietary hardware. Makes sense. Thugs. Yeah, they'll just keep like, they'll make a new model and they'll be like, well, you have to get this model because it won't, you know, it won't work anymore. Or just, like, have them have forced obsolescence or something. Chestnut Street. The shop is the only place with the number here. 
Okay, cool. But yeah, it had, like forced obsolescence and like stupid things like that. Makes me mad. I'm not sure, but it looks like some occult symbol. Uh, sprayed tag, yeah. Anything else hanging about here? I mean, the lanterns. Ooh, junk. Look at junk. I used one of those on my 6150... 6510 machines. Pick it up. Abandoning hardware is a crime. Look at poster? Some hyped DJ playing live. <laughs> oh yeah, because yeah, of course DJs wouldn't play live, yeah. My Japanese is rusty, but everyone calls this place underground. Okay, well, let's see if we can get in. He's guarding the door. Yep. I'm looking for hardware components. You're in the wrong place. Move along. What are you talking about? I've been here before. You must be confused. This is private property. And you can't enter. I swear I've been here before, but it was a long time ago. I've only been working here for a few months, and I have clear orders from my boss to not let anyone inside, unless they're one of our trusted clients. I really need to get inside. No way, punk, you ain't coming in. My shift is almost over and I don't want any trouble. I need to get back home and eat something. I'm not wasting my time with you. Never mind. Looking for my girlfriend. Have you seen her around? Do I look like a dating service broker? You sure do not. You're right about that. Of course, I'm always right. What's with the Japanese signs? Japanese signs? I don't see any signs at all. They're right beside you. Can't you see them? All I see is another stupid advertisement. I always forget there's only a few of us. We, who aren't shipped into the permanent reality. Oh, is that what the deal with our character is? He's like off the grid, basically. So most people are like wearing these like glasses and stuff and it's like a virtual reality so you ignore how this reality looks and smells but it's also plastered with advertisements. That sounds awful. It's just like a... I, I can't imagine walking around and like an ad for something just pops up right beside me as I'm talking to someone. That sounds so awful. Eee. Yeah, this world's about as awful as uh, I imagined it was going to be. So... Hmm. If we can't get in there... Where are we supposed to go? Maybe here? I can see through the metal grating. Judging by the noise, someone must be working. Uh, hi. Is that you, Alex? Of course it's me. Got the modules? Uh, I'm still looking for them. No problem, I'll wait here. Uh, modules. Hmm. Yeah, I never interacted with this vending machine, did I? It sells beverages. Cool. Um... What do I need from here? Do I need anything from here? I feel like I shouldn't get anything until I know exactly what I need. It's stylish somehow. Well, I mean, let's... We have a heap of coins. Let's... Thank you, and... Spicy juice. Because that one guy hates spicy? Super spicy Cinco de Mayo drink. Okay, I got one. I'm kind of curious if giving that to the guy that hates spicy stuff would do anything. Oh, hey, safety cone. I had a collection of those in my drunken younger days. I just steal it? I don't really want to carry around a traffic cone. Why not? It might be useful. Just flying advertisements. It's weird stuff. Alright, you're the one that told me where to go to, uh... Find- or no, it was this guy, I think. Um... Deal the day, maybe- okay, here we go. You know anyone who can fix it? Maybe the guy in the shop around the corner can help you. But I would stay away from that old fart. Uh... Yeah, we've already seen all this. Okay. Bye. Cool. So, we have to find these modules that this guy is apparently looking for. Junk. It has no screws to screw. Hmm. Kind of looking at my items here to see if there's anything in here that may give me what this guy wants. 
Hmm. I thought maybe if I used something on that, it would give me what I needed, but no. Okay, well, the only lead I really have is... Oh. Oh. Okay. No, 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 no. I know what to do. We gotta use our spicy Cinco de Mayo sauce on that Maki, so when that guy grabs it, he gets mad? Oh yeah, that's totally what we gotta do. I thought we were gonna try to steal the Maki and use it for some adventure game puzzle, but no. Oh wait, it's not Maki this time. Interesting. Something different. Weird. Okay, well, let's use our spicy juice. I'm glad I just chose correctly the first time. Alright, so he's eating. You good? Imagine I have to talk to him. He's wearing a hoodie, yeah. Okay. How's the dinner? Pretty decent. I'm on a strict diet. No development, raises... Yeah. Hmm. I mean, come on, the food must have gotten to him by now, right? Huh. I mean, oh, do I have to actually wait for the plate to get to him? Because that plate was in, like, the same spot from when I got up. Let's see. It's pretty clear that's what I was supposed to do. So, let, let, me, tr let me try doing it on the Maki as well. Oh, wait, no, I don't, I don't have any more. Okay, so maybe I wonder if I did it on the wrong thing. Like maybe you're supposed to do it on the maki because that's what he eats. Maybe he doesn't eat whatever that like soup stuff I had was. Hmm, I think there's something wrong with this food. Oh, okay. He said he really, really liked soup. This guy didn't say anything about soup. So yeah, I have to spice up the maki. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, you got me game. You got me. Luckily, I have a heap of coins that I stole out of my own arcade machine that I can now use. Yeah, I was like, this must be a trial and error thing since we had so many coins, there's like, yeah, we have to we have to allow them to buy a couple of these. So let's insert a, oop. Insert a coin. Buy a spicy juice. All right. And out of here. I'm not really sure what this is getting for me. I, I find this is a pretty common thing in uh, point-and-click adventures is you start doing something and you're like, what is this even for? I don't know. But it's something I can do, so it must be important at some point. All right, so stool. We just got to wait for the Maki to show up, I guess. Yep, there it is, luckily. So spicy juice. Pour that on that. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Yummy. There we go. We just immediately cut back out here. Oh. Wh wh what is happening? The food tastes strange. My stomach is bursting. Ah, uh, the food is rotten. Oh, my. Are you okay? Hey, he says other stuff. I feel sick. Let's call an ambulance. The food is rotten. There's something in it. I'm going to report this. Man, it skipped the dialogue again. I gotta really be careful about that. No, no, please calm down. Let me fix this, please. Uh... This junk is no, not w working. I'm sick and t tired of it. Time to, to, to try another pair of glasses. I can't stutter really well. <laughs> Ooh, so I want to go into that garbage and get those pair of glasses? Hmm. How do I get back there, though? I don't know if there is a way to. At least I didn't see one. Talk to the chef. Better stay away from this place for a while before trying anything else. If the chef catches me, I'm done for good. Okay. So, we must be able to get back out there some other way? Hmm. How, though? 
Yeah, that was another thing to follow up on, is the dumpster. But I don't have anything that would allow me to open the dumpster. As we've seen before. The only things I thought would maybe help was the broom and the screwdriver. But he specifically says I'm not going in it, so maybe I'm supposed to get somebody else to open it? At least that's where my brain is going. Hmm. So there was no way to go anywhere else over here, right? No, this is just a dead end. So wherever you have to go, it must be down this other back street. But I don't, I don't remember seeing that guy sitting there, like, eating and stuff. So how are we supposed to get to where that was? Uh, okay, I didn't think about this. I immediately went out and got onto my bike, because I'm like, oh yeah, I haven't used my bike. Is that what I'm supposed to do? No. Okay, okay, I found it, I found it. So here, I never actually hovered this far, but this leads to the back alley. Yeah, delivery entrance. Okay, okay, I just totally missed that. Well, now we just need to go into this dumpster. Automated dumpster. The trash is electronically separated and sent for recycling. It's just to stay out of my dumpster. Um, hi, beggar. Another victim of the system. Yep. Nice jacket. Th thanks. It, c it keeps me warm. That's all that matters. I'm not gonna do the shivering anymore. I bet. It's pretty cold and it rains all the time. Nice jacket. Do you need help? I'm losing it. Help me, bro. I need more AVR. M more cartridges. I'll see what I can do. Was that a pair of AVR glasses? Yeah, a disposable pair. Augmented virtual reality is my life. I see. I need a dose of it every day. Do you have something for me? Reality is driving me nuts. I need to jack in as soon as possible. Got a spare cartridge? I'm tired of the ones that I have. I, I know them, bite by bite. To dump me some data. So yeah, this is like straight up an addiction. They sell these things to people so that they can forget their shitty life. So aren't you chipped yet with permanent reality? I, I wish I was, but I missed that train. And now it's too expensive for me. I can barely make a living here. If it wasn't for the restaurant leftovers, I would be dead by now. Sorry to see you having such a hard time, but I can guarantee you aren't missing anything. I would even say you're better off without that devilry. But bullshit. It's the best thing ever created, and I need that update every day. The, that way, I wouldn't be forced to rely on these shitty old cartridges. I'm scared to press forward on the text. Who knows what kind of toxic chemicals they use to boost these experiences. Can't argue with that. But at least you're still off the grid. Free man. I don't care about being free, now leave me alone. I don't want to hear this garbage. See you later. Look at tin. Someone crushed it. Beer bottle. He's drunk too? Hell beer. Don't touch my drink. Cartridges. Maybe our cartridges. Hands off my cartridges. Uh, so we can't steal anything from him, obviously. Maybe if I just tell him I just want the glasses? Stay out of my dumpster? Okay. E-Dog, an underground cinematic opera by P. Reverdy. Horror? Walk Among Us Fest, a horror rock festival that happened last year. Event starting at 11 p.m. Crowd surfing will be punished. <laughs> Funny. Is that Spider-Man? Kinda looks like him, but also down here kinda looks like the Umbrella logo. Almost dead plants. I'm no gardener, but there seems to be a disaster here. There isn't any treasure buried there. Oh, that's what I was hoping for. Alarm bell? Examine. Not sure if this is a cheap alarm system or just a ringing bell. This should be the back door to the restaurant's kitchen. It's locked from the inside. Okay, well, let's press the alarm bell. 
I hear some crackling inside. It could be a damaged electrical component, but I don't need another shock today. Let's use the Ultra Gloves of Power. I can't control that, no. Screwdriver. It has no screws to screw. Hmm. Broom. I don't want to sweep it. I thought maybe you could push the button, but he said there's a damaged electrical opponent, so I think I just have to fix something with it. Which is easier said than done. Use the jumper. That's nonsense. Yeah, of course it is. Okay. Well. Ooh, electrical cabinet. I didn't see you. Just a piece of plastic covering some cables and switches, I guess. It's locked. Okay, well. Screwdriver? Wrong screwdriver size. Damn it, of course. Ultra Glove of Power? Why? That's not what the Ultra Glove of Power is used for. <laughs> Damn it. I just want inside. Okay, so it's a wrong size screwdriver. Is there anything else we can interact with here? Because it's kind of the only lead I had. I'm going to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's really anything else here. Almost dead plants. Oh, a fire extinguisher. Okay, I didn't see that. As the label states, this one was revised 12 years ago. Pick up fire extinguisher. It's heavy. Cool. I now have a fire extinguisher. I'm not sure what I'm going to use that for, but I have one. Onaku. Alright, well... Anything I can do with the almost dead plants? Give them meds. It will not work. Damn it. Give them noodles? Nope. Hmm. Alright, well, color me confused. Because there's not much else to do here. I've had my full conversation with this guy, and he won't let me into his dumpster. He apparently wants some new cartridges, which I have no idea where to attain some new cartridges. Maybe it's... Hmm. Okay, before I end off this video, I am going to test one thing. Maybe I can buy cartridges now that I know that from the store over there. It's the best idea I have. Yeah, the one right over here. Did you sell cartridges? Maybe our headset is broken. Look at my girlfriend. What are you doing? It's the deal of the day. The best prices. All sorts of designer drugs, trainers, stim packs, anything else you need to boost your user experience. That sounds like they would sell cartridges to me. Damn. Oh, wait. You, you ate you. Show me what you've got. I'm asking for a friend. Yeah, there we go. The guy. Yeah, because you're the one that's selling cartridges. Show me what you got. I'm asking for a friend. You said dreams in AVR? Yeah. Ain't nobody got a friend. Let's check what I got. I have some 16 kilobyte heavenly trips cartridges. They're electrochemical devices based on next gen hardware. Pimped with some spicy chemicals. How much for one? Not gonna happen. I don't accept money from strangers. What do you think I am? A drug dealer? Well, kinda. I can trade one cartridge for some replacement ingredients. Like what? Fast acting boosters. The kind you can find in most medicines around these days. Can I buy a cartridge? I don't want money, only boosters. Well, I have some. See you soon. Here you go. I have these stimulators. Let me check. I can give you a 16 kilobyte heavenly trip cartridge for this. Hey, what's that? This baby will guarantee you a very intense AVR trip. Top notch. Can't wait to try it then. Don't push it too much, dude. Alrighty. So there we go. So we did actually make some progress, but we're ending the episode in the exact same spot we started it. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Virtual Verse, and I will see you tomorrow for the next one.